Ah, yes, thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome everyone. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Our ministry is based on deliverance and healing ministry. That's why we are dealing with the curses, breaking generational curses, witchcraft, and, and all other sources of, of attacks. Um, at this morning, I'm going to talk to you the subject called The Blood of Jesus Breaks Every Sickness, Curses, and Cleans You from Witchcraft Attacks. That is the work of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that was said on the cross when that soldier came with a spear and 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 slap and slap the, the 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 lip of Jesus and then the blood came out and water that blood and water it is very important it was shed it came out of Jesus it dropped on the ground so that you can be set free, so that you can be healed, so that you can be set free from witchcraft attack and, and the satanic attack. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. This morning, this hour, you are going to be cleaned and healed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ is going to heal you, is going to set you free, is going to break every curses in your blood, in your life, in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ is going to destroy every witchcraft material in your blood, in your life, in Jesus' name. All those witchcraft dreams attack. It, Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, the Son of the living God, is going to destroy them in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we invite your blood. We invite your blood. I bleed the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my Father. Blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus over this prayer. Everyone that has come in this prayer, I bleed the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, enter into your people. Heal them and touch them in the name of Jesus. I break and destroy every sickness and diseases by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, break and destroy every sickness. Destroy and break every sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I praise your name. I magnify you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I want to read to you the scripture from the book of Mark. Mark 14, verse 24. The book of Mark 14, verse 24, the Bible says, And he said to them, This is my blood of covenant, which is boiled out for many, for many, many, many. This is the blood of covenant. The blood of, of Jesus is a covenant that you should be healed, that you should be set free. It is a covenant. It is blood covenant that has shed, that has, has come for many so that you can be set free from the curses, from evil, from powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. That is what the Bible says. He, is, he said to them, this is my blood. Jesus, when he was with his disciples, he, he told them, this is my blood. Look at me. My blood is for, uh, of covenant for all of you. Praise be the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus purifies, purifies us from every sin, removes every mark of rejection. Blood of Jesus purified us from every sin. Blood of Jesus destroy every sin in our body. No matter sins you have, no matter what you have done, the blood of Jesus will, will cleanse you and clean you and you will become holy in Jesus' name. It purified every sin in your body. The sin that is making the enemy attacking you. That sin is going to be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. 
by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will cleanse, cleanse you, you are see all of your sins in Jesus' name. No sins that cannot be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Because he said he's going to beautify you, he's going to clean you. He has given his blood, and his blood is a covenant for you in Jesus' name. In the book of John 19, verse 33 to 34, the Bible says, But coming to Jesus, when they saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs, but one of the soldiers passed his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. You see, when the soldier saw that Jesus is dead, and they said they are not going to break his legs, but he, he went and, and patched him with a the, with the spear, parceled him because the soldier was very angry with Jesus. After his, his passes, his passed his, his, his side with the spear, and immediately the blood and the water came out. The blood of Jesus purifies us every blood. Blood of Jesus breaks every curses in, and in you. It breaks every curses. Now, when that soldier parcel is 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 a spear in the lip of Jesus, and then what came out? Blood and water. How do we know the blood and the water came out? Because the blood, the water came out. They see the blood. They see the water. Yeah. They, that's why they say water and blood because they they saw they see they saw two different things. Because when the blood is coming, it is very difficult to see water. But after that, after after the blood, after the blood that came immediately, the blood came out, chop, and the water, which means two things came out of the the, the, the blood, the lip of Jesus. That water it cleans every witchcraft attacks. It cleans every witchcraft and materials in your body. It it will clean every curses. It is a removal of curses and witchcraft in your body. That water cleanses. That water is the Holy Spirit. It's symbolically, it is the Holy Spirit. If you look at the book of Ezekiel 36, verse 25. Let's read the book of Ezekiel 36, 25 to 27. The Bible says, Then I will sprinkle wa clean water on you, and you shall be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness, and all and from all your idols, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues, and you will keep my judgment and do them in the name of Jesus. That water, it is a cleansing water. It will remove every curses. It will cleanse you from every attack of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. The water that came from the, the, the lips of Jesus, that came from the body of Jesus, it is the water of cleansing. It is the water of removing every witchcraft in your body. It is the water that cleanses you. You know, human being, it has 75% water in the body. That's why the water is very important. Jesus said, my water that comes from me, it is one to clean you. It is one to wash you. And it is one to clean and clean and clean and wash you every witchcraft, every spirit, every demon, every evil in your body. Symbolically, the water, and, and it means the Holy Spirit. And it cleanses. The Holy Spirit will enter in your body and clean and meld every sickness, every diseases, every curses, every mark of hatred in the name of Jesus Christ. When the blood of Jesus, when the Spirit of the Lord come upon you, it will destroy any stubborn sickness in your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says, in John 6, verse 53 to 57, the Bible says, So Jesus says to them, Truly, truly, I said to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in yourself. He who eats my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up 
on the last day. For my flesh is true food and my, my blood is true drink. He, he who eats my flesh and drink my blood abounds in me and, in, and I in him. As the living father sent me and I live because of the father. So he who hits me and also will live because of me. Now I pray that God, that Jesus Christ, his blood, as you will drink his blood and eat his body, you will be healed. You will be set free. You will be, de be, be free from sickness and diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. The flesh of Jesus and drink of his blood, it will abide you forever. No step on demon that will live in you. Once you drink the blood of Jesus, you eat the flesh of Jesus because the blood of Jesus is life. The blood is life. It will melt and destroy sickness and diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus provides forgiveness of your sins. The law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with the blood and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Without the, the shedding of the blood, there is, no, there is no forgiveness. Therefore, the book, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 9.22, I pray that every drop of Jesus Christ that was shed for, for you shall cleanse you, shall clean you, every sin, anything that has been programmed in you shall forgive you every, every unforgiven. If, you, if people have refused to forgive you, Jesus has forgiven you. You will also forgive because that is the work of the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, it forgives you. No matter how you look like, blood of Jesus will forgive you. When you are being rejected, when you are nothing, when you, people are cursing you, people, are, they don't see you like a human being. They have put every curses on you. But the blood of Jesus will forgive you and cleanse you and you will become white as snow in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus gives you life. Then Jesus said to them, Mostly I swear it, I said to you, unless you eat the flesh of the son of the man, the man, and, and drink his blood, you have no life in you. John 6 verse 55. The blood of Jesus gives you life. Your life has come back. You person... That the doctor have said that you are going to live a few days to die. Cancer is going to kill you. The blood of Jesus will restore back your life. Those people are sick who do not have any hope, who have HIV, AIDS. Blood of Jesus is going to give you life. The blood of Jesus is as life. Every sickness, diseases, the blood of Jesus will give you life. Blood of Jesus will give you life. The blood of Jesus will give you life in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus brings you closer to God. Blood of Jesus brings you closer to God. Uh, in Ephesians 2.13, the Bible says, But now in Christ Jesus, who once were for, uh, uh, far off, have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. You know, the blood of Jesus brings you near to Jesus. You might be far, backslider. You, you, you have no strength. You, you can't read your Bible. As now we are reading the Bible, we are reading the Bible 35 days, the whole Bible. Now you don't have strength. You are tired. But the blood of Jesus will bring you closer to him. He will bring you closer in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus, as Ephesians 2, 13 says, But now, in Christ Jesus... You who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus bring you near to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus cleans your conscious. The blood of Jesus cleans your conscious. You are conscious that you are both as children. You have been about doing abortion. You have been doing abortion. You have been doing disgrace. You have done, you have been... Uh, you have been a thief, you have been done, you have done so evil. Some people, some people they tell me that God will never forgive them because they have done so evil, they are so evil. You have been abort, you have been killed, you have been done so wicked, you have been done some, some evil ways. But the Jesus, the blood of Jesus will cleanse your conscience 
or you are conscious that you are guilty or you are guiltiness that you you see you are every time you see guilty you have been crying children babies are crying in your spirit because of the abortion you did let me tell you today the blood of jesus is going to cleanse your conscience your conscience your conscience you will be cleaned because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 4, 9 verse 14, the Bible, the Bible says, as, ma, as how much more shall the blood of Jesus, who through the internal spirit over himself without spot to God, cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. He will cleanse your conscience from dead works, from dead works, from dead works, to serve the living God. Blood of Jesus will cleanse your dead words because you have been thinking dead. You have been thinking bad stuff because of what you did. But Jesus, all those words are dead. All those words that you have been thinking, conscious, guilty, blood of Jesus is one to cleanse you. Blood of Jesus is one to remove you. The blood of Jesus is one to wash you and you become white as snow in Jesus' name. That is the book of Hebrews 14, the book of Hebrews 9, 14. That's what the Bible says. It will cleanse your conscience completely. You will never be condemned. You will never be charged. You will never be thinking that anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus gives you bold to, to appear to God. Makes you, blood of Jesus, make you boil. You, you will be, you will be boilness. Blood of Jesus gives you boldness to approach God. The blood of Jesus gives you boldness to approach God without fear. It's your father. You go there and you talk to your father. In the book of Hebrews 10 verse 19, the Bible says, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holes by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus gives you boldness to approach God. You will enter in holy of holes. When you, you are the blood of Jesus, give you boils, boil, boilness, you enter in holy of holes. You can enter into the temple of God because you have confidence that you are going to talk to, 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 to your father. That's the work of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is alive. No matter you, that fear, that fear the enemy has put in you. You fear. You are depressed. You terrifying. Terrifying. Pff, demon of fear. Blood of Jesus will destroy in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus will remove it. That fear. You know, people, they fear to death. They fear they can't go. They can't drive. They can't do anything. They can't come out of, out of the house. But the blood of Jesus will give you boldness to approach God. To walk out of your house, to go and drive your car back, to do things you have not been doing, to drive, to go to the brain and go to your country. Because the, you can't even fly, you can't go anywhere because the enemy has put the spirit of fear. But today, the blood of Jesus will set you free. You will go, you will do things you have not been doing because the blood of Jesus will give you power and boldness to do things you have not been doing before in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus satisfies you. Satisfy you. Blood of Jesus satisfies you. In the book of Hebrews 13, verse 4, 12, the Bible says, Therefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gate. Jesus suffered outside the gate for you to be satisfied. I satisfy you with the blood of Jesus. Be satisfied by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus cleans you. Cleans your conscience. Cleans you. In the book of 1 John 1, 7, the Bible says, But if we walk in the right as he is in the right, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleans us from all our sins our sins you know the blood of jesus cleans all our sins my friend my dear mothers and sisters blood of jesus cleans all our sins that's what it is hallelujah glory be the name of jesus god i want to thank you 
No one will condemn you. There is no condemnation to those who believe in Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Because God is able to deliver you and cleanse you. That's why I'm going to attack every sickness, diseases, witchcraft, and attack from the enemy. As I'm going to pray, I'm going to attack every powers of darkness that is attacking you. That is making you cannot enjoy. Hallelujah. Blood of Jesus heals you. Heals your body. You don't have to live with sickness and diseases. Every sickness and diseases in your body, I command them by the blood of Jesus to be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the book of 1 Peter 2, verse 24, the Bible says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. The wounds of Jesus, that wound of Jesus, they nailed him, they did everything. The wounds of Jesus, you have been healed. Every curses of sickness in your body has been healed, has been broken, has been destroyed. Every satanic covenant of sickness and infirmity in your body has been destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The blood, the importance of the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus has been, has been, has been around 700 times, has been mentioned seven hundred times the blood the blood the blood the blood has been mentioned 700 times in the bible therefore the blood the the, the, the the blood of jesus there is power in the blood of jesus there is power in the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the blood of jesus will cleanse you and heal you all your sickness no matter the report you have right now no matter the, 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 the report you have, the doctor have told you, that report, satanic prophecy, that pro, uh, witchcraft prophecy, doctor's prophecy, evil prophecy, they are prophesied to you that you are going to die. You have cancer. You have sickness that will destroy your life. Let that sickness die. As you will drink the blood of Jesus, you will eat his body, the blood of Jesus Christ, you will be free. The blood will give you fresh back life in Jesus' name. You shall not die, but declare the word of God. This year, no one in your family will die. You shall be fused. You shall not die, but live to declare the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. No sickness will put you in the bed sick in Jesus' name. No sickness will put you in the hospital in the mighty name of Jesus. Refuse. As the first month of the first the, the first month of the year is a new year, so you declare, you declare by the power and the blood of Jesus, you command the devil, the witchcraft, the evil powers of darkness. I will not die this year. I shall not die. I will not bear my children with my hands in the mighty name of Jesus. No sickness will visit me in the mighty name of Jesus. Resist and refuse and command them to die. Command every sickness to dry up and die. Command sickness to cut the blood of Jesus and melt it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray every organ that has been attacked by sickness and diseases. You are liver and your heart infected, in fact, in, infected by demons. Correct with the blood of Jesus and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pray those people who are having heart problem, liver, kidney, intestine. In the mighty name, every organ that has been attacked by Satan, by witchcraft, by, by sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command to meet the lock of ages, to meet the blood of Jesus and destroy it in Jesus' name. Yes, low back problem. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against it. Sickness and pains in the lower parts of your body. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let those bones be start be repaired in the mighty name of Jesus. You are organ in which curve altar. I command them to jump out in the mighty name of Jesus. Every organ in your in your in in in, in, in which curve altar. You know they can take your organ, your heart. And they are pressed in their oracle, in their witchcraft coven. That's why you feel that heart, people have heart, heart problem. The, the, your heart is on the witchcraft coven, witchcraft altar. Hallelujah. Pray that Baba Shatoro Rabakuraba Baba Shitara Rabakuraba. 
Repa baba shantoro raba krianda la baba shai. Roba baba shantara la bakuramba baba shantara la bakuraba. Every child of the devil who is busy attacking people, sending arrows, hear the word of God. I command every arrows you are sending to anyone to return and go back to yourself. To go back and destroy you in Jesus' name. Every arrows, you witchcraft arrows, the arrow you are firing to anyone, I send them back to you in Jesus' name. Contrary of witchcraft cooking your body, I release you by fire. Let the fire of God release you in Jesus' name. Death and portionless water flowing in your body. I command you to dry up by fire. Let every portionless, every dead portion, water flowing in your body, let it be dried up. Let them be dried up. Let them be dried up in Jesus' name. Witchcraft uh, water, uh, satanic water of witchcraft that is flowing in your body, flowing in you. Let them be destroyed and catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Altars of depression in your heart. You know, there is altars of depression, altars of depressed. People are depressed. People are oppressed. There is powers called depression. Many people, almost 85% people who are living, they are depressed. They are demons who are depressing people. Many people are mad. People are walking, taking drugs. They are mentally being a men mentor. Their, their head has been damaged so hard. So I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus, let them be destroyed and be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. I am speaking you demon of di diabetic. Diabetic demon. That is attacking people. Hear the word of God. I destroy you, I bind you, and I lend you powerless in Jesus' name. Thou son of David, let that you, the, the son of David, you know that man called Bartholomew, son of Demio, he was a poor man and blind and sick. He had mental problem because he, when you are blind, you are poor, you, you, you have problems. Now he called the Jesus, said, Thou Jesus of Nazareth, Thou Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy. Let Jesus have mercy upon you. Let Jesus destroy that demons of depressed. Let Jesus de destroy that demon operating in your body. That make your head so breast. You feel a pressing. Your head is like wants to buzz. You feel heart bubblation, heart attack all the time. Heart, uh, uh, a panic attack, panic attack. You have been thinking beyond reasonable. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I destroy them in Jesus' name. Yes. Resurrection fire of Holy Ghost. Resurrection fire of Holy Ghost fire. I, I, let, let it destroy every sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the resurrection power of the blood of Jesus, let the resurrection power of Jesus Christ rise and destroy that sickness and the diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my God, we thank you, God. We bless your name. We give you the glory. Every chronicle sickness and the diseases, SDD, every women sickness in the womb, that the sickness that women have in their private parts, everywhere that they cannot have sex, they can't enjoy. Let those sickness be melt by fire and by thunder in the mighty name of Jesus. That bleeding, you've been bleeding for, for so long. That blood, that coming all the time, that does not stop. I command the blood of Jesus to melt it. I am speaking to you. That this woman who has been bleeding more than three weeks now, you are, you're still worried, you don't know what to do. It, 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 the, the doctor is suspecting this cancer. You have no cancer. Demon of cancer, I destroy you. That blood blowing from your body, I melt it. I command you, stop. Come, stop and try up in Jesus' name. Yes, that woman has been pleading for a long time. It's, the time is up. Demon, stop. Get out of the woman in Jesus' name. Arrows of madness. Arrows of madness. You are a liar. 
Some people, there is arrows of madness that has been fired in their head. They feel mad. They are like now the moon is big. The moon is full. Now when the moon is full, many people, they go crazy. If you look, you go to the hospital, you see so many mental people in the hospital. They, they are crazy. People are they manifest, manifested so, so high. I command it says arrows of madness in your life, in your spirit. Let it be dried up. Let it go back and destroy the owners in Jesus' name. Demon of madness in your head, in your mind, let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Covenant with the hypertension. People are hyper, 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 hypertension. I command you by the blood of Jesus. Hypertension, high blood pressure. I command you break by the blood of Jesus. Let Jesus Christ break every covenant with the hypertension, high blood pressure, diabetic, and every sickness in your body, in your heart. Let the blood of Jesus break them, break them, break them, break them, break them, break, 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 break in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's, let me tell you the, the truth. You shall not die but live to declare the word of God. No sickness that will claim your life. You are taking so much sickness and, and so much drugs to heal you. But the blood of Jesus has life for you. That cancer, the breast cancer, I command them to die. Be, be dried up. You cancer, hear the word of God. You are a liar. Die by the blood of Jesus. Die by the water that pray, that that came out of the lip of Jesus. Remember the water that came out with with blood. That water it will cleanse your breast. It will cleanse that 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 cancer. Where the area of cancer, it is want to cleanse it. The blood of Jesus will heal the wounds. Everything in your body connected with the demon of cancer, connected with the evil spirit of cancer, connected with the witchcraft. It is want to clear. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You have been healed, my sister. You have been set free. You will be totally healed in Jesus' name. There is no sickness and diseases that Jesus Christ cannot heal. Because the Bible says all, all sickness, no matter the sickness you are in right now, HIV, AIDS, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, a heart problem, had, had kidney problem. Some of you, your kidney are rotten. They are not functioning. Some of you, you are living by the machine. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I remove that machine from your body. You will live. You will be healed because Jesus is a healer. He said he's going to heal you all your body in Jesus' name. All curses, all sickness that has been put in you from the curses, let that curses die. Sickness that is, has been caused by curses. You know there's curses that, that wicked and evil people sent, witchcraft sent to you, and then it attack you. Every curses that has been blessed on you because of jealous and wicked witchcraft, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Domestic witchcraft, that is a sending arrows of, of, of sickness in your body, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. Violence of HIV fired into your blood, backfire by the thunder of, of the blood of Jesus. Every virus, every virus of HIV, HIV virus, hear the word of God, backfire, burn to ashes, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Sickness of witchcraft costing sickness cell in your blood system. Die! I destroy them in Jesus' name. By fire, by thunder. I pray that God, will, you, will, you, you will recover your body parts. You know that every person has spare part. In heaven, you are there. You are spare part. You, are, you yourself, you are in heaven. All your body, your parts of your body, it's in heaven. So God will release with his angel to bring every parts of your body. If you need hands, you need legs, you need your joints, everything is in heaven. God is going to release his angels to bring you and repair you and oppression and operate you. Such of heaven fall upon this person. Anybody missing the part of the body, the angel of God will bring your body and fix and repair you in Jesus' name. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. At any dangerous abolition, fasting on your body, let them die. 
any dangerous witchcraft, arborist, let them die. Let them die in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus is better. Blood of Jesus is better. It is better. Your flesh is the blood of Jesus. Therefore, eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. I command you to come out and go and eat your own flesh and drink your own blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. I want to thank you, God. I bless your name, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, arise. Pump your fire. Pump your fire into the body of this person. Inject your blood. Of, inject the blood of Jesus into your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Let God himself start injecting you with his blood. Let the blood of Jesus, I see little blood of Jesus injecting some people. You will be free. You will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. Hallelujah. Yes, you will be healed. The blood of Jesus is injecting you. That sickness and the diseases that has been tormenting you, you will be healed and the, and the curses has been broken by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, appear and break every curses of certainly dead in the name of Jesus. Let Holy Ghost fire arise and break every certain curses, every curses in your blood, in your body, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father, in Jesus' name. Arrows of dead sickness targeted against your organ. Backfire. Backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Arrows of deadly diseases are targeted against your against your organ. Backfire by fire. Backfire, 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 backfire in the name of Jesus. Your stomach will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. In the ulcer, demon of ulcers, ulcers of stomach. Answers on of the stomach in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to be destroyed, be healed. People with sickness in the stomach, Alice's and, and other sickness, and let them be melted, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Sub, uh, Subantine and scorpion spilt in your foundation. Serpentine and, and, and serpentine and scorpion in your blood. I command them to dry up, be melted, die, die. Die, die, because the Bible has given us power to trumpet the serpent and scorpion. Now the enemy has put serpents and scorpion in your blood. They are eating you. They are chewing you. That's why you hear them moving in your body to do your head. You will hear things moving. Sometimes they program scorpion. Sometimes they program cobwebs, cobwebs, spiders. So, so the spiders is moving all over your body. You will hear things moving on your body. By the blood of Jesus, some of you, you, you just beat your body. You feel things, you beat your foot, like you are removing them like this. Every time you see things, things are moving on your body, so you remove them, even your face. You see like cobwebs in your face, you try to move and there's nothing. There's a tank web cobwebs that have been programmed in you. So that's why you see yourself removing them. You feel it. You see, you feel it and you see that things are moving even they want to come to your eyes. You remove like this or you put like this or you do like this all the time. Those cobwebs and witchcraft sp spiders, I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Every witchcraft bird or animals pushing your life, cross land and die in Jesus' name. Sometimes when you close your eyes like this, you might see animals, different kinds of animals running, walking. Those are witchcraft animals, all bats. You see them, blood bats, all kinds of bats. They are witchcraft programmed in you to come and dance for you, to come and sing to you, to take your information. Let those bats and animals die. Let them catch fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank God that God is able to deliver you today. You will not go to, you will not carry sickness and diseases this year. This year you are going to be free from sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. All that pain. The pain that, that you are in, a lot of pain in your body, your bones, let them be dried in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, strong man of your father's house, I command you to get out of this person. Strong man. They are very strong. They, they bow. They say that you will never be healed. You will die. That sickness will kill you. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Every strong man of your father's house, every powers of your father's house, responsible for your sickness, responsible for your death, let them die. They are powers of your father's house that are responsible for your sickness. Because your father has cancer, your father has sickness, your mother has sickness, so now this sickness, they are claiming your life. Let them die. Let them be destroyed. Let them get out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my God, my Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, I am praying for you right now. There is demons and witchcraft and wizards that are working in your life, in your marriage, using familiar spirit. They are traveling your marriage your marriage will be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Every enemy attacking your marriage, traveling your marriage, die! Get out of that marriage. Spirit wife, spirit husband, leave this marriage. Get out in the name of Jesus. I curse you. I bind you. I destroy you. I command you to get out in Jesus' name. You third spirit husband, you are a liar. I destroy you. Get out of the marriage. Get out of this marriage. Strange woman, stealing that man. Leave that man. Leave that man in Jesus' name. Strange man, snatch is stealing that woman. You are a liar. I curse you. I command you to return the woman in Jesus' name. The Bible says you are a dead man in the mighty name of Jesus. You are a dead man. If you steal somebody's wife, if you steal somebody's husband, you are dead. That is what God God told Abimelech when he wanted when he almost take the wife of Abraham. And God told, told Abimelech, you are a dead person. Return that woman back to, the, to, the, to, the, to her husband. And the woman was returned back. The woman was done to, 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 to his husband. To her husband. I'm telling you that when the enemy has taken your wife, your husband, there is power of death following that person. Don't let the man enjoy your wife or your 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 your, your husband your your husband enjoy your your husband your your husband enjoy your wife enjoy the wife. I pray the Bible says that is a death sentences. It is death sentences. That's why you don't joke with somebody's wife or somebody's is uh, husband. You will die. That woman will put a curse and the curse will work on you because the Bible says where there is a curse, where there is a curse, there is a cause. Because they say, cause the curse will cut you straight away. Woman, that, that's a strange woman has taken your husband. Call me. Man, strange man has taken your, your wife. Call me. We will fix them in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't have to cry and live suffering and somebody's enjoying your husband and your wife. There's, the scripture declare that you are a dead person in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, enchantment, divination, liberation, using kakara nant, using algeta peppers, consulting the dead, ancestors over your life, break, 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 die, die, die in the name of Jesus. Enchantment, diviners, witchcraft, using algeta pepper, using elbows, using your clothes, your hair, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die, die, die in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every idol, everywhere in the world, supervising your fraction, oppression and evil covenant in your life, oh God arise, contact their burial, contact their dead, contact their burial, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and very demon, Anywhere in the world, supervising you, supervising your oppression, supervising evil covenant in your life. Oh God of Elijah, arise, contact their burial, contact their burial, let them die in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, thank you Jesus. Every witchcraft mirror, communication system, satellite, telephone, video, computers, taking your information to the evil altars. I command them to catch fire. Break in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them break by fire. Break by thunder. Every witchcraft mirror, communication system, satellite, cell phone, computers, videos, taking your information to the to evil altars. Let God of Elijah rise and break them. Break those communication, break those computers, break that cell, cell phone, break the satellite, 
cut their communication. Let them be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. My God and my Father. Every curses pronounced by the blood relatives, friends, church members, evil prophets, abolished parents, dead relatives, I break them. I am praying this prayer for you because there is some powers, there is some curses that has been blessed, pronounced against you by relatives, by dead friends, by friends and church members. You go to a church and because you left that judge, the pastors will pronounce a curse and the curse will follow you. Let that curse be broken, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. My number is 905-792-3798. Our number, call me. I want to pray for you and break those curses. Some of you are suffering. You are suffering too much because of the curses of false prophets, evil prophets, pastors, church members, friends, dead relatives, your parents. They have issues cursed against you. I command them to break into pieces in Jesus' name. Yes, they are, call me. Our number is 905-792-3798. Call me. I will, pray, I will pray with you in Jesus' name. Mark of rejection upon your star. There, there, there is mark of rejection. Some people, you have a mark of rejection. No matter what you do, that mark is there. It rejects you. No, you can go to, to a place, nobody knows you. But because you have that mark of rejection, it, 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 everybody is rejecting. So you feel so bad. You are depressed. You feel, what did I do? Everywhere, everywhere you go, because Satan's mark has been blessed on you, that, that, that makes you to be rejected. Let that mark be waved. Let that Satan mark be destroyed and rendered powerless. Use Satan mark in your face, in your forehead. Let it be, let it catch fire and be destroyed. Blood of Jesus, wipe that satanic mark. Wipe the mark of rejection. That is demonic satanic rejection in your face. Let it be wiped away. Let it be cleansed away. Let it be removed by fire, by thunder in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Every, every rejection uh, 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 mark fired into your star. Let it catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, enemies of your stars, catch fire. Enemies of your stars, catch fire. Enemies of your stars, catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, you enemy attacking your stars, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Yes, God, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my God, I want to thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray any curses spoken, uh, any curses blessed on, on your home, there is curses that witchcraft the press on your home that you will never have a child. They are a liar. There is nobody who is a barren. Therefore, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. I break and remove that curses from your home. If you are a woman, you are looking for the fruit of the home. Go ahead and get that child. In Jesus' name, that curses has been removed from your home. You will have twins. You have three children. You have twins, three children, two twins. Three, be careful. The womb has, the, the curses has been removed in Jesus' name. I've seen that curses being removed and taken away in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I have to stop here. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful time, people of God. See you tonight, 9 p.m. We are going to have a periscope, uh, popcorn. And I don't know if I will be on periscope, popcorn and prayer line. And also Thursday and Friday, come with the fasting. We are going to do massive deliverance prayer. In the name of Jesus, you come prepare yourself. God is going to deliver you. Bring your oil. Bring your oil on, 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 on that day. Make sure you bring your oil. In the mighty name of Jesus, on Thursday and Friday, bring your oil. I will be praying for you, and God will deliver you. Friday, I'm, I will be praying for you in the morning. And, and, uh, and some, some of you... I will pray for you on Thursday night or morning. It will depend on the time, but I will pray two days. Bring your oil and also make sure you come by fasting Thursday and Friday. God will help you. We are reading the Bible.
20, 20, 35 days to read the whole Bible. Continue reading the, the Bible. Especially on those days, read the Bible. Repeat it. Read more and more. God will change your life. God is going to open your ears and you will start seeing. God is going to give you wisdom and knowledge. God is going to give you understanding as you continue reading those books in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you so much. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki saying bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tonight, five, five, um, 9 p.m. and tomorrow, 9 a.m. And if you think this prayer is blessing you, if for sure this ministry is yours and is blessing you, go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. Go and plant your seed. I am very happy and appreciate you, those who are planting their seeds. Also, prepare your first fruit offering. The end of this month, we will be taking the first fruit offering. If you want to have money, if you want to have money this year, you will be saving money. If, because some of you, you will never save money. You have nothing. You only get paycheck and eat straight away. You have nothing. This year is a year of victory and prosperity. You must, you must fight to have victory. You must fight to have victory. You can't have victory without a war. So to fight the, and have victory, plant your seed, plant, uh, bring your first fruit offering so that you can have money throughout the year. I will be praying for you and take your offering, your first fruits to the altar and pronounce blessings and it will, it will be so. Therefore, people of God, I want to thank you so much and, and see you. God bless you. Our number once again is 905-792-3798. God bless you and see you tonight, 9 p.m. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hehehe. <laughs>